She's my baby, my baby cat. Hello. Hi, my name's Hattie. I'm Jane. And Snowy is on my lap, just in case you hear any licking. It is <laughs> not me. My dog. Not me. But by the way, the reason why we turn on the camera is because we wanted to talk about. Shut up. <laughs> We wanted to talk about that struggles as foreigner for living in Korea. I'm a foreigner who lives in Korea. 그러니까 이제 한국어로 더 설명을 덧붙이자면 제가 한국에 몇십 년산 한국인으로서 보지 못했던 외국인으로서의 고충들을 저희 와이프와 결혼을 하고 나서 한국인으로서의 시선이 아닌 그 제3자의 입장으로 바라볼 수 있게 된 후부터 되게 많은 것들이 보였고 한국에 그만큼 저희 둘다 애정이 있는 만큼 외국인으로서 한국에서 살아가고 있는 분들도 저희 채널을 많이 보고 계시고 저희를 좋아해 주시는 한국 분들도 많이 계시니까 저희가 조금이라도 그 인식 Can I just do a quick disclaimer as well? Yeah. It just like to say that the views I'm about to say are my personal views. Um, they're just from my experience. Nobody else. Quiet. <laughs> Nobody else who sees my views and my views only. I'd just like to say that I absolutely love living in Korea. Mm. I have a wonderful family here. Right. I'm, my life is here, my job is here. I really enjoy living here. And there are lots and lots of benefits to living in Korea as well. Just for today, going to be talking about some of the hardships, but the positives do outweigh them. Yeah, Hetty loves Korea, you know? I don't want people to think I'm shitting on their country. <laughs> but like, for, yeah, emphasizing here again that the purpose for this video is just for... We're just trying to highlight some of the issues that I feel like Jin was surprised about and he wanted to share that with our Korean audience. Yeah. So first I wanted to talk about that. When Hattie, especially when Hattie, her own, she walks in the street, so many old Korean people, especially, they stare Hattie as some product. You know what I mean? And dirty look and just always like there's some nice smiley Ajashi Ajumma and like, oh wow, Hang some people like, oh, yeah, like, like you're boiled. Yeah. And I'm like, oh thank you. And then sometimes there's people here like this. 진짜 너무 많아요. 그게. And sometimes even avoid her. Oh yeah. Purposely. When COVID was arising, uh. I would sit down on the subway. People around me would stand up and walk away. It actually made me cry a few times. For COVID case, I think as a Korean, if I was in the Western country, that would be the same. And that's like um, so many people in the world would do that. But especially in Korea, we have different ways. I think Korea is not a racist country. Korea, it's not. Korea is a country that still don't understand about foreigners properly. Korean is a homogenous society yeah um, really, not familiar with things there's really only for a really long time there was only koreans living in korea mm -hmm. and it's only relatively new that foreigners have come over new as in i'm talking about the last 10 years or so that foreigners have actually moved over so yeah, like after culturally blossomed that they just came over yeah from. and there's more diversity every single day here which is mm -hmm. nice but also i think that there is certain social aspects that are not as well developed as they would be in other countries societal attitudes and things like that yeah. because obviously korea grew really 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 quickly like physically mm. it grew really quickly mentally it's not quite at the same level yeah i completely agree which is not a bad one. thing there's really misconception there for seeing foreigners in korea they think foreign girls are or foreign guys are just open-minded they think we're prostitutes. I think it's more like maybe some because they watch the like um. It's like American movies. American movies, movies are they like. They think we're always gonna be down for a one night stand or like a threesome or something yeah. or like oh we can have sex and you never have to talk to me again kind of thing. Mm, and when I heard about many experiences about your friends like my my foreign friends are like for the first date they just ask straightforward about like do you want to just go for the motel or something like. That's so rude. You cannot. They wouldn't treat Korean people like that. Sometimes. And I um, do feel there's a very different approach, especially dating. If, yeah. If, I'm not talking about everybody here, but just only that, some. Like people. a small majority yeah. of Korean people would approach dating a foreigner and, and make the, that relationship happen a lot more fast paced than if they were dating Korean. They wouldn't necessarily give the same level of respect. Yeah, and they don't treat you as same human being. They just treat you foreigner. Sometimes we're inexperienced more than an actual relationship and also i still think some korean people are not taking foreigners as same human being and just always there's a distance you never let them into your actual friend zone again but that is unfortunately something that happens in every country in the world so yeah we're not that's just true. talking about korea yeah here. That's, that's true but i have personally experienced that in some form and regarding like eye contact oh yeah so it really depends on again personal experience 
on my mood as to how I take that. Some people, you can tell that they're just looking at you because they're curious or, you know, they might be like, wow, her outfit is cool. Or they just, you just are interesting. Like sometimes I stare at people who I think look really cool or look like interesting human beings and they smile. I often smile at people when I catch them looking at me and when they smile back, it makes me really, really happy because in, in England, if you smile at somebody, if they're staring at you, then they smile back. But I found that one of the quite isolated things here was that a lot of people don't smile back at you. They just keep staring at you mm. and it makes you feel incredibly isolated and awkward Awkward because you're yeah. like why are they staring at me do i look weird is there something wrong with my outfit like do they think that i'm ugly are they judging me and personally for me it gave me really bad anxiety especially when i first came to korea nowadays i really don't mind that much unless i'm having like a bad mental health day if i'm having a bad mental health day i'm not really feeling myself maybe i've got a baseball cap on i'm trying not to be seen and people stare at me it really upsets me and also some people just approach you because you can speak english English and they can just practice your English. I can weed these people out now, but when I first came here, I had a lot of people using me because they wanted to be my friend, but they didn't. They just wanted to practice their English. And yeah. that's fine if you go into that friendship, like, or that relationship being like, okay, we're going to be friends with each other. We're going to help each other with our language exchanges. Mm. That's fine. But if you're going in for it, like, I'm thinking, oh, this person wants to be my friend. I'm so excited. I'm so, I'm quite lonely here. Mm. But no, they just use you to speak English. That's not, that's not the one. <laughs> But also I think that's like one of the reasons that sometimes you might see foreigners hanging out with other groups of foreigners because it is quite hard to, I don't know, I often, I think that's probably why you often see foreigners hanging out with other foreigners because we kind of understand each other's cultures so we're like, oh let's hang out together. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help with? <laughs> Again, I don't think this is not a personal thing for anybody. It's not negative for either side. But it's very hard to become friends with a group of Korean people because you need to have quite good Korean skills in order to actually understand what's going on. And you need to have been in the country for a little while or have some concept of the society in order to follow and understand mm. the conversations and vice versa. Like it's still, it's probably really hard for Koreans to make friends with foreigners because again, different culture to be quite good at English. So I think that's often why we don't intermingle yeah. that much. As I said, the longer I stay in Korea, the more Korean friends I make, the better I understand the society and the better I understand the language. You know, the only thing that I really wish that Korean people would do is if they're looking at you and you smile at them, I wish they would smile back. Mm. I just wish that they would be a bit more bit more welcoming welcome i mean people are extraordinarily welcoming but like i feel like in western culture if we see somebody on the subway who looks a bit nervous who may be from a different country and you're caught looking at them a nice smile doesn't go that far like it's nice it makes you feel happy not in creepy way just like yeah just like oh and then you look away but um i have one wish that korean people might no it's not a wish it's one complaint okay one complainer okay. because i hate people cooking food for me and you know when you go to the samgyeopsal places and this is what i hate i don't know if this is a thing for korean people too but like you know when you don't know if they're gonna cook the meat for you or if you're supposed to cook it yourself so you just awkwardly stare at the meat for a little while until nobody comes over and then you're like oh okay maybe i should cook the meat and then the lady comes over and they're like stop cooking that's my job and you're like <sighs> that gives me so much stress do you not have that too no that's because probably they think you don't know how to cook korean I, food i mean i mean that's something they care about you i know but like i just it just makes me anxious because when someone's cooking food at my table i feel like in england it's it's impolite to start a conversation or have a conversation when someone is working at the table i personally think so i don't speak the whole time that they're cooking our meat because i feel like i'm gonna be rude like i'm ignoring their existence and i'm ignoring the fact that they are being kind and cooking the food for me since we talked about like, since we complained about korea right i don't think i was complaining about yeah korea. but like you're telling talking about korea about one thing what you like most in korea oh my god i could give you like a thousand i really enjoy the dinner and drink culture like when you go out with friends in korea you go out for a meal and it's not like an hour it's like two hours of just eating 
talking, drinking, everyone laughing, maybe cooking your own food if the lady doesn't come up and cook it for you because you're a foreigner. Like it's really fun. Like you actually spend time together in England for me. Like if I was to spend time with my friends, we would go out for dinner or we would go to a bar. Walking more gross. Yeah, for the food wise, we're really like culturally developed. I, like food. I like how polite you guys are when it comes to pouring drinks as well. Like, I understand it's hierarchical, but like, especially when we go out with like our friends, mm. I think it's really nice when our friends are like, oh, it d doesn't, we're the same age, but they're like, oh, do you know, your cup's empty. Mm. Let me pour that for you. I feel like people are very attentive when it comes to the dinner table here. Since we talked about this, guys, we probably missed so many topics that we would like to also talk about. So please make in the comments like especially for foreigners who lives in korea now share your struggles and we want to like a debate and also want to share the opinions and your struggles here korean here as well and help the community as well sorry snowy is here i'm not just like stroking my legs yeah we're a little fusion family so we'd love to create more fusion families yeah let's or talk about it in the comments guys bye bye bye